genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you. Hello there. Welcome to episode 63 of 15 Minutes of Genius. This is a place where we bring on amazing entrepreneurs, including one that's with us today for this episode. We bring on investors, we bring on advisors, consultants, just people that are basically genius that are in the CPG space. So consider us like a, uh, you know, like Gary Vaynerchuk, but only for CPG. So uh, before going into our guest, now this guest is returning for the second time. He's in an elite group in the 15 Minutes of Genius Hall of Fame, or Hall of Awesomeness, I'm gonna call it. I'm making this up on the spot. Where he's one of the few guests that have actually returned for a second visit. Before introducing him, Big plug, Manhattan Beach Studios, uh, Mark N, ManhattanBeachStudios.net, Mark Nicholas. He is our producer. He is our man. He's the guy that's putting this entire show together and making it look like this face actually is on the back wall. It is not. See, it's transparent. I'm putting my hand right through it like that. So, And we have all the new branding here. We have new packaging coming out for Genius Juice. So uh, our guests are seeing it before it even hits the shelves. So uh, pretty cool. Make sure to look out for that at your local store. All right, so without further ado or delay, Michael Pan. He is the owner and founder of Pan's Mushroom Jerky, or ha as he said on Shark Tank, Pan's. And uh, he was on Shark Tank in November. I can't remember the exact date, he can tell us that. And then he also just had uh, an update on Shark Tank um, about two weeks ago, I believe, from when this is taping right now. So Mike, good to have you back on the show, my man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I'm surprised we're not having this interview while you're like near the line in your production facility because you're like running 24 <laughs> seven. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Uh, luckily, we started to staff up and part of it was, yeah, try to get uh, more people to manage the day to day as much as possible. But I'm still there quite a bit, as you can imagine. Yeah, definitely. I see the uh, Instagram updates, you know, the Instagram lives, the Instagram videos where you're like basically with a face mask you know, in, in your studio, be like, see, you know, behind me, we're producing as fast as we can to fulfill these orders. So a lot has happened since uh, you last came on the show. Last came on the show, uh, it was before you aired on Shark Tank. Um, I know the feeling, the rush, being on the show, we talked about all that. This episode is going to be all about the Shark Tank effect. Okay, I know you've been asked this probably a thousand times already since airing on the show, so you have to tell us again. What has happened since the airing? We know that sales exploded. We know that there was an update. Tell us more. How did you keep up? How did you staff up? Um, how has it really affected your business? Just tell us anything and everything uh, since airing on Shark Tank. Yeah, I mean, you know, I knew I knew that it would obviously have, we'd have a bump in sales, we'd get a lot of visibility, but uh, my goodness, it, it completely uh, blew our expectations away. Um, we thought we would get, uh, I mean, for us, uh, any kind of orders above a thousand is like, that's a lot for us. But, um, so we thought originally, yeah, we'd get 6,000 orders, maybe 10,000 orders. Um, we ended up getting six times the amount that we expected, which was about 35,000 orders, <laughs> um, in a matter of 48 hours. Um, and it completely just blew our expectations away, uh, in, in the greatest of ways. Um, so, you know, right after when the show was airing, which it aired on 1120, um, you know, which also had some of the advantages of being you know, close to holiday, uh, and, and things like that. And we also had just generally a positive episode, I believe. And, and the sharks were, uh, extremely, um, they were, they were, they were really great, uh, in, in terms of highlighting our brand and, and sharing how much they loved it. So we, we just had a really good episode and, uh, you know, the responses directly from that. So as you can imagine, uh, as, as the show aired, we literally started getting orders. Uh, you know, I've got Shopify hooked up on my phone and I'm, I've never gone viral for anything. Um, but I've never seen so many notifications come through as the sales were trickling in. Um, and my phone was freezing up, but it was just a very surreal feeling. And I think, um, you know, it was, um, I was emotional on the episode, but, um, you know, I felt all the, that same kind of emotion as, as this validation that was coming in after the show aired as well, when um, it, it's just very extremely satisfying and humbling to see that much support come through. Um, and yeah, so then after, you know, we had a period where we were like, yeah, this is great. This is awesome. We're, 
we're selling a lot. And then it it immediately met with, wow, we are, we need to figure out how to fill these things. Right. And, um, and that was, you know, that's, that's been the journey since then. It's been, uh, all these plans that we had to ramp up in 2021, uh, over 12 months, really, we had to figure out in literally in weeks. And so, um, you know, at a time when people were really having, people were having a hard time finding jobs, uh, especially back in November. And, um, we were able to triple our staff, um, able to go 24 hours, seven days a week in production. And, you know, that's, that still takes time, but, um, luckily we tried to, you know, obviously keep our customers informed that, you know, we appreciate their patience. We're ramping up production, uh, in order to fill the, the orders and they were patient enough to let us do that. And we actually ended up finishing shipping all the shark tank orders, I think towards the end of February, if I remember right. Wow. Uh, so so like it took three, us about three, three months, months to that. after the initial airing. Yeah. Well, I was one of those yeah. orders. I ordered, uh, one, one of them and I ordered, I'm like, you know, I know it's going to be delayed. It's got, I mean, we were yeah. texting back and forth. We spoke right after shark tank. I remember you had, you stepped outside your facility to talk with me and like literally just running 24 hours a day, uh, an immense amount of pressure put on the, uh, on your line at, at your production facility. But you know what, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll use the phrase, um, better late than never. That's my first phrase. The second well, thing, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I think the people that ordered are very forgiving because they're a big fan of you. You really came across as very authentic, very warm, and like just a person that people want to support, right, in, in the episode. Um, and also just big fan of the product and your mission and the upcycling of ugly, you know, produce and all these really great things. Um, yeah. so, so really, really awesome. So, uh, it aired, you fulfilled the orders, they came in, you eventually fulfilled them in, in, in about three months. Are you back up to speed now, right? With the, with the update and everything, are you, with all the upgrades <laughs> you've done to your facility, are you now keeping up with your orders? Um, Yes and no. Uh, um, in in the in a great way, what it what it really did was it, it did advance our capabilities and increase our production in general, which was awesome. Uh, so we are definitely more uh, capable of producing more now than we ever were. And um, you know that some of the downsides of of having to focus on these online orders was we were behind on whole, uh, wholesale orders as right. well. So we're still that. catching up on those. Right. And, um, you know, we, we obviously value every partner we have, and uh, we're trying to work quickly to catch up on that side as well. Um, and, yeah, and, and luckily we, we've just tried to keep, you know, obviously our customers updated on what's going on. And, and they've, been, um, they've been very gracious to work with us as we kind of work through these growing, literally growing pains that we're going through. So we are not quite caught up, but at least we have better expectations and know what we're dealing with. I think before, for three months, we, we were very much just trying to figure it out. and. Um, we did, and it advanced us, but um, it wasn't the most. Uh, definitely was not the most easy experience. It was it was, it was pretty literal growing pains uh, for a few months, and uh, yeah. Now since the we did have an update air, like you said, and uh, that actually was last actually last week on last week. April second. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and you know, luckily we knew that it wouldn't quite have the 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 large effect as the first one, but um, you know, we knew we'd obviously get some visibility, and I think this time we. Plenty of lessons learned. Plenty, we now know what kind of what we can do, and um, we we did go out of stock pretty quickly at that point. So we didn't uh, we knew how to control our levers a little better, and uh, also make sure we were more prepared ahead of time. So, um, but yeah, the the I don't know if you want to get into this about the update, but um, you know we were very lucky that uh, not, I don't think many people get updates in the same season. And yeah, it's um, like four months later or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, got to be a funny, record. Um, we got a call about it about, yeah, Hey, you're going to be on the show again. And this is I think, back in January. And, uh, <laughs> you can imagine we were really, really in the thick of things trying to catch up. And, uh, I'm sure they were just like, how are you not more excited about it? Which we were excited <laughs> about, but we're also like, wow, we are scared. still yeah. trying to catch up and scared. Yeah. Um, but, uh, no, it was, it was obviously a great, uh, great opportunity that, that was, has worked out really well. And I think, uh, yeah, it was a really great opportunity to kind of reset where we are as a company, uh, share with our customers uh, how much we appreciate them uh, and their patience. And, um, you know, just, just really explaining the, the Shark Tank effect to your original question. I I underestimated how big the Shark Tank effect was. Uh, I've obviously been a fan of the show for a long time, but it, it's 
it's pretty real. <laughs> it's very real. Uh, and we saw it. And it's advanced us as a company faster than um, we would have done on our own, for sure. There's no question. Totally. And I, I think, like, going back to my statement, it's the way that someone comes across on the show, right? I think that is so crucial. Coming across authentic, yeah. truthful, passionate, emotional, and genuinely wanting to be there to make a deal, like not being like the Shark Tank gold digger, like that just goes there to, to get, on, to get yeah. on like TV. And I think you came across and you checked all those boxes. And like I was watching, you know, the, the when it initially aired in, in November, November 20th with my wife, and she's never met you before, right? She's never seen you before. She didn't know, you know, I think she saw you briefly at one of the shows, but really no, didn't know a yeah, lot yeah. about you. And after watching, I looked at her and she was captivated by the emotion, you know, that you had. And even in the end of the episode, you were shedding a tear, right? That your bank account went to negative, that you've been through such tough times. And this is yeah. really just such a huge payoff for you and you're flooded with emotions. So I think people resonated with you and felt those emotions, which is the product is the product, which is a great product, but then just people want to go, want to buy because of the why. And the, and the why yeah. is Michael Pan, right? The man yeah. behind the For brand, sure. right? So let's get into numbers real quick because I want to make sure I don't forget about this. Um, and sure. then you, I think you were going to respond to that, but numbers. What did you do right at, uh, the, 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 the morning of after the show aired on that night? So the morning of the next day. Yeah, I think it was uh, the next day we ended up at basically – I think around 700,000. 700,000 dollars. 24 hours. Yeah. Well, not even that. We were, you know, we, we aired in Pacific time, uh, or sorry, in, in, it was 5 p.m. Pacific for us, 8 p.m. Eastern. So literally in about, I think, four hours or roughly maybe eight hours, it, we were at 700,000 already. Wow. By, okay. by the time we woke up the next morning. 700,000. I'm sure that was a, an interesting way to wake up. Um, <laughs> I mean, you knew that was, it was I, already, it was going through the night, right? As you were sleeping. Did, did you sleep that I've night never, or no? No. I mean, I, I, you know, part of, there's a little vanity involved, obviously of like hearing when, when you have the Shopify app installed on your phone, a little cash register rings, which is, uh, you know, a little, um, maybe overdoing it a bit, but, uh, it literally wouldn't stop and it would buzz all night. And, um, very bizarre feeling of like it's still because we we thought it would die and like just kind of slow down and it just never did yeah um and then that's when we realized later on like we this isn't going to slow down we need to stop and that's when we did we uh went out of stock but it was it, it we thought it would it slow down at some point and just it never quite did until we turned everything off um, yeah and that's so amazing and the smart thing you did mike was that when you went out of stock, from what I recall, you still took orders, right? You still took orders in, which is the right thing to do, and just back order it, right? Then you? We actually, we actually did not do that. We weren't oh. able to because, unfortunately, with Shopify, you can't. Uh, it, it's hard to take back orders with the with the platform. But that's uh, some story. details. But yeah, yeah, it, yeah so, it's another story on on that. So, so seven hundred thousand the day after. How about within that week? You broke a million, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the end, the outcome was basically about a million That's uh, in sales, which, yeah. And, and that was on top of, uh, we were, I think I said on the show, even we were on track to make somewhere around a million on our own and, um, like 1.2 to 1.5. And, um, so we, we added on to an already, uh, we were already going to break a million that year with our own organic growth. And, uh, so add that million online. That's do the math. That's Doubling. where we ended up. So yeah. yeah. And pl plus you have just in-store, boost right where um when i went to my local whole foods i live in uh, redondo right. beach so i went in there i know exactly where it is it was hanging <laughs> on a wall next to like banana yeah. jerky and like yeah. a grass-fed you know jerky and like it sure. was it was blown out i mean it still like blows out but then it gets restocked but for probably about two or three weeks it was still going to the stores you were still supplying yeah. them it's just it was being bought so freaking quickly so yeah. um, I actually wasn't able to even find it because while I was waiting for my online order, I knew it would take a couple you know, a while. <laughs> so I'm like, I got to go buy it. Yeah. I can't wait like a couple months, you know, for the first order, right? During the, and when you're yeah. in the thick of it. Yeah. So um, you hit a million. What did you do in the, uh, in the update? Just, uh, I'm very curious how much it hit. Um, we actually only sold, we, we limited it. 
completely <laughs> limited it. So we only, um, right. we, ha- we sold literally a couple thousand variety packs online, um, which was, uh, I think the final number ended up being a little around, around $60,000 in, a, in less than two hours we sold out. So, um, which is also great as well. Just not on the, quite the, the large number, but the, it sold out really quick. Uh, that, that small number. Definitely. And uh, I'll say this much, um, that, there is, I'll leave this entrepreneur nameless, but he's a friend of mine and he was on Shark Tank uh, this season, okay? Um, and I asked him, how much did you do? Now, his product is not, uh, it's not as, a, as, as, an, uh, as much of an approachable product as yours. I don't think everyone would like it. It's more niche. The Sharks liked the product, but he did under 100,000 in sales on his, on his day of airing, on the night of airing, and also the next week i think he did under a hundred thousand in sales and i think the key difference was the story right like it's your story and that that's why you know people bought it um you know behind the scenes and also you got a deal on top of all that so let's let's roll into that okay so the deal right you got a deal with yeah. uh mark cuban we talked about how everything went down where you couldn't hear the other sharks and the audio and <laughs> so that's a yeah. whole other story if anyone wants to see that story they can go on to the our, our special edition episode with Michael Pan, but for this, yeah. how has it been working with Mark? Is the is the deal, if you're allowed to talk about it, is the deal sealed? Is he an official investor? And how has that been uh, thus far with him? Yeah, it's official. We we were an officially a Mark Cuban company, and uh, it's it. been great so far. Um, they are, you know, look. Obviously, everyone for the most part knows Mark and uh, what he, all the things that he's involved with. He's a, I don't know how he has time during the day, but um, you know, they, they've been amazing to work with so far. And uh, obviously it's just the beginning, but they were very um, supportive of us as we were going through this transition, this rapid growth um, and really helping us, you know, manage customer expectations, handle our e-commerce side. Uh, and, and really, honestly, just um, just the moral support, honestly, was, was huge. Um, you know, someone could easily be like, well, you need to go ship faster or you know, figured out, I think very empathetic and just understanding the position we were in, uh, honestly put a lot of ease on us and, and allowed us, uh, the space to, you know, get to work and fill these orders out. And, um, I'm excited to see, you know, what we end up doing together, uh, as we kind of scale, you know, obviously scale going forward. And, um, yeah. And so it's been great work with Mark and, and, and I mean, you know, we email constantly and he responds all the time very quickly. And I'm just amazed that, uh, yeah, just he he, um, he cares about the companies he invests in, and and uh, definitely for obviously the Shark Tank companies as well. So it's been exciting to uh, just interact and learn from him so far. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, big shout out, Mark Cuban. You know, um, and I've <laughs> I've publicly announced it, and I'll announce it again. You know, our, our deal didn't end up working out, right? Um, it doesn't work out for some of the times. That's just the way the show is, um, yeah. but still was incredibly gracious and he actually answered even after the deal our deal right the genius juice deal with barbara corkman and mark cuban after it fell through again to set the record straight it fell through i get questions every day so i want to just put that out there so everyone knows he still (laughs) answers my emails you know i I talked to him or I, i emailed him about two months ago and i read i think in the la times which i i mean i don't know who even reads that anymore but i do that um, that he answers emails really, really quickly. So even if you know, you're know you not even working with him. So I, I sent an email out. I said, hey, man, just thank you for ordering Genius Juice. You know, it's your, it's your pad in Dallas. And uh, thank you for being a, such a big support on the show and saying great things. And he responded right away. It was a quick response, like a one-liner. But he was like, he was like thanks so much, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. And that was it. So, so I heard that he selectively goes through all of his emails every day and he tries to answer as many as he can. So that's, as, as a Shark Tank, as a Mark Cuban brand, I'm sure he's answering your emails like a lot, which is good to be accessible. But even, even the, yeah, but even then, I just, I don't know how, I mean, given how much he is involved with in different companies, different, not even just some food companies and his, his portfolio, I, it's, I'm amazed that you can read that many emails and respond to them. From my, from my own standpoint, I wouldn't be able to do that. So No, I can't even answer my own emails and I'm not Mark Cuban, right? And, you know, so... <laughs> Impressive. Yeah. So yeah, so amazing stuff. Um, so what is, I guess the big question is, what is next, right? Like you're, you're riding this yeah. huge wave, online sales through the roof. 
there's got to be some retail opportunities coming up where I'm sure buyers got their attention, right? Like what happened with us yep. when, we, when we aired a year ago, year and a half ago. Yeah. Tell us more yeah. about what is next for PANS. Yeah, I mean, I think we're we're still very much uh, obviously settling in from the uh, now two airings that we've had. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you can imagine, we do have some opportunities in front of us that I can't speak on quite yet. Um, but you know, our focus is, uh, continuing to build out our, um, our capacity to make more product, uh, and to fill this demand that is, um, is out there. And, and it's, it's a great time to obviously be in a plant-based space. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the consumers are, you know, telling everyone what they want and that's more plant-based products. And we're excited to be, um, I think one of the brands that's helping to lead, uh, lead this category through to, um, you know, make it a, a it's not a uh, niche product anymore. It's actually, uh, which by the way, when you mentioned that we're, we're not the niche product for a long time, we've always been that niche. niche. Yeah. Why do you need this product? It's too weird. And now I'm on the other side of it where it's just like, obviously this is something that likely will, you know, continue to grow and it's pretty still getting used to that. But, um, you know, yeah. How do we fill demand uh, that's out there right now and just try to uh, find a way to do it in a profitable way is, and building a good team around us to do that is is our focus this year. So, definitely, all um, as cliched as it sounds, all really <laughs> good freaking problems to have. Building a team, hiring more people, filling demand, and you know, I remember a few days after you aired on Shark Tank. I don't know if anyone's brought this up, you know, to you recently. Is there was a picture of you um, in front of a Starbucks? And you were like, you were thinking, it looks like you were like pondering, you know, and it's like, I think it said something in the caption, like, you know, thinking of Starbucks or something like that. Yeah, this, yeah, Laura, Laura, that. And Lori even said it in the episode, right? Like that you were on, like, she's like, she held up, you know, your, your, your packaging. She's like, this would be perfect for Starbucks, you know? And you're like, Mark Cuban, yeah. you have a deal. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so like, don't, don't remind me of everything, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You yeah. know what? Everything works out in its own way. And I got to say that whether it doesn't matter what the deal, you know, there's going to be a deal, there's going to be equity. At the end of the day, if you have a partner that can grow it bigger and be a better partner for you and bring a better energy for you to inspire you to grow it even more, it's going to pay off so big for you in the end. And Mark Cuban, from seeing what he did with Mush, you know, my friend Ashley over at Mush, yeah. um, another brand that Mark Cuban invested in, uh, they're they're doing tens of millions in revenue and they're everywhere. So I think Amazing. like he has a great track record. You went with your gut and it was the right choice. Tell us, is there any opportunity, any inkling, any, any Starbucks action going on? Anything you can share? <laughs> anything? Uh, Give us something. Boy, not quite yet, but we, we definitely have, um, you know, I never like to, I don't want to announce until, you know, a PO gets placed. <laughs> I'll just say that. I think, you know, okay. how that works. Leave, so it, leave it at that. We have, <laughs> We have, um, we will likely be growing very quickly this year, but yeah, we need to wait to get that PO. But um, hey, round three of uh, 15 Minutes of Genius, you know, down yeah. the road maybe, who knows? Exactly. And we'll, we'll do it from a, we'll do it from a Starbucks. <laughs> there you go. There we go. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Right on, man. Well, a uh, huge congratulations to everything, uh, Michael or Mike. I've, uh, you know, I remember running into you at the uh, OC Veg Fest in 2019 we were like literally right. a ca cat a corner <clears throat> from each other i went lifetime to, ago yeah man that seems like so long ago with all the changes and <laughs> growth that we had it's like funny yeah. like every year in this business it feels like it's like five years you know just everything we go through right yeah. in, in just day-to-day -day business it's all it's very condensed but i do remember yeah. wait, waiting in line at your booth at the OC Veg Fest. I waited in line four times and I, I got so tired of waiting in line, I just skipped the line. And I'm like, just give me some product, I'll trade you for Genius Juice. And then that's how, you know, there you go. That's how we got to know each other. So there you go. So, best um, deal ever. Best deal ever, love it. Hey man, <laughs> for, for us too, for me. You know? Yeah, there you go. I have a there ton of Genius yeah. Juice, I don't have pans, and then, like, and then vice versa, <laughs> you have a ton of pans, but no Genius Juice. So it's a good trade, you know? There we go, yeah. I like it. Cool, man. Well, uh, thank you for having, uh, thank you for being on and, and uh, being a guest and uh, coming back for a second episode. There's going to be a third, definitely, with Michael Pan, the uh, the founder and CEO of uh, Pan's Mushroom Jerky. So thank you again for joining us. Congrats on all your success, Mike. And uh, yeah, man, just hang in there and uh, 
everything's going to turn out great. Appreciate it. Same to you. Congrats on all your success. And uh, I need some of that swag you got on, by the way, sooner or later. So I got to I got to get some of that uh, for me. So hook me up with one of those hoodies someday. Totally, man. Yeah, these hoodies are <laughs> the freaking these are awesome. So, yeah, what I'll do is we have a print in about a week or two. I will send uh, one of these up to you and a hat. What color do you want? Ooh. <laughs> we have black, we have green, we have red. Uh, oh man, this is a live transaction. Um, I, I will do. Uh, I'll do. I'll do a black one. Cool. And then a hat, black on black. Yeah. Actually, no. I like. I like your combo already. I like the combo like you the have. Blue, right? Kind of yeah. the dark blue yeah, with yeah. The black. Yeah, yeah. Or I've red on actually. What am I losing I, my mind? I, I like the. I like the red and the blue hat if you have it, and I'm I'm happy to purchase from your site too if you have it. That's that's what I was getting at. So that would actually be pretty cool. We don't have it on our website, so I'm gonna I will send it to you, and I will trade you for a variety pack of pants right. <laughs> whenever you have time to fit us in on the line. So no pressure. All right. No pressure. Fill, fill the customer it. orders first. All right. All thanks, right. Deal. thanks, my man. All right. Take good care. All right. See you guys. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So that is episode 63 of 15 minutes of genius uh again we bring on awesome guests uh we air uh we we air on on uh, linkedin on tuesdays and fridays make sure to tune in also on youtube make sure to subscribe and like big plug to mark nicholas mark Studios.net. he can do all your editing and awesome stuff and he's actually asking in my earpiece what about i've never tried uh pants mushroom jerky where can i get that so i'm gonna get some for, uh, for you mark as well so again episode 63 in the books and one last thing, stay jerky and genius, my friends. Genius for life. Coconut smoothies coming at you.